we're going to be working on our hair layer. This is what the first part of our hair layer is going to look like. Then we're going to build some finer details to our hair. So as always, we want to make sure we are painting not on our background layer. That's what I look like without my background. We're going to be taking that away. So we want to make a new, go to our layer. Oops, I clicked the wrong button. Go to our layer selection, create a new layer. We're going to label this one hair. We're going to have two hair layers. One is building kind of like a helmet of hair. So we're going to select our color. You're going to go in with your brush and up my pixels a bit. You're going to go in with your brush and color all over your hair. And you want to make sure you are following your hairline. Kind of want to work a little bit closer. If you're having a hard time or if you want more detail, you want to make sure you use that magnet tool, get in there and get some of the finer details of the hair like so. So that's the first layer. Let me un use my magnifying glass and show you fill screen. That's my layer of hair filled in. Notice that I used some smaller brushes down there. The next layer we're going to work on is of finer individual hairs. For this one, you want to work with pixels between one, three, four on your brush tool. Instead of just following the hairline, you actually want to make sure you are looking at your background, not that helmet that we just made. So I'm going to make my first hair layer invisible. And instead of just following the lines of my hair, you want to find areas of highlights and shadow, just like we did with your face. So select an area, change to your base color. And in your small, oops, make sure my, did I make a new layer? I have to make another layer for my fine hairs. So new layer. This is going to be more detailed hair. And again, it's a good habit to name your layers because then it's easier to find layer later. Ha ha ha. So we're going to go over, oops, I messed up, all our highlights of hair. You can see that there's shadows as well. So you select your base tone, or your shadow colors, change it to your base color, and then fill in areas of dark. This is going to help it look less like a helmet and more like hair. And obviously the more fine details you have, the more convincing it's going to look. So there's some layers I did before. That was my base. Let's go back to my hair helmet. And let's also look at what it looks like without my background and my base. So up next is close. Those are good. 